there. Anything interesting? Oh, some violin? No, no, I know exactly what that is. That's special. Come here, you. Uh, I don't want to escape. Oh, he's a big one, too. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Oh, look at that. I know what you're thinking. Why is this tiny little creature so exciting? Isn't it just a weird looking earwig? No. In fact, this is probably one of the strangest creatures I have ever found and something that I've been looking for for years. This is a forceps tail. And if its name isn't weird enough, the deeper we dive into its really unusual secrets, the weirder it gets. Normally, you see me work with some of the deadliest and most venomous creatures on the planet. But if there is something that I'm more excited to see than the animals that can kill me, it's the animals that are so weird you can barely believe they exist. All around us, a secret world is bustling in the shadows, hidden behind the veil of vegetation, an obscure Lured by darkness underneath our feet, some of the planet's weirdest life forms live out their complex lives largely unseen by people. And it's this, these really weird creatures, that I want to get up close and personal with so we can discover all of their secrets. I actually first heard of a forceps tale on Reddit years ago. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, that has got to be one of the strangest things I have ever seen. And ever since then, it has been one of the creatures I have wanted to find the most. I have a list of some of the weirdest things I want to film that I add to whenever I come across a bizarre creature online. At the top of that list are Bayus wasps, web spinner insects, ulms, strepsiptera, and forceps tails. These are the weirdest of the weird. The kind of animals that have such odd, specific lifestyles that they outdo what even the most creative science fiction can come up with. And while exploring the hill country of northern Louisiana, I finally stumbled onto an arthropod that I've wanted to see for years. Have a look at this little creature here. That might be one of the most unusual arthropods you will ever see on this channel and that I've ever seen in my life. Notice I said arthropod and not insect. It has six legs and antennae, right? So this is an insect. No, it's actually not. This is a forceps tail, and it's actually in its own little group called diplurans. There's very few of them in the entire world, and basically nothing is known about them. So seeing this creature in the wild is in itself a scientific discovery. Where I'm at right now, hardly anyone's even seen these guys before. The, the species of of forceps tail we're looking at today might not even be described. And I don't even mean that in like joking. This small, creepy looking little bug is actually a very, very big deal. Now I talk a lot about the secrets of the natural world here on the channel. If you were ever gonna look at a secret of the natural world, it's this thing right here. These guys are completely unusual with their subterranean lifestyle. We just don't see them. We don't study them all that well. I'm not even entirely sure that it's because they're rare. We're flipping rocks today, and this is the first one I found. We've actually been flipping for a little bit. This is the first one I found, but we've actually seen probably about 20 since I flipped this guy. So they're around, and I don't know if it's a time of year thing. I don't know if it's just a lack of studying, but for better or for worse, this is one creature we know very, very little about. That's kind of the best thing about a lot of these obscure weird little subterranean creatures is people just aren't out looking for them. They're not aware that these things exist. Every time we observe these creatures, it's an opportunity to discover something new about them because they're so poorly understood. Have a look at the way it moves. You'll notice those antennae in the front are going crazy scanning his environment there. These forceps tails, they don't have eyes or ears. Everything, everything they do to understand their world is through smell and vibration. Their bodies are covered in these sensory hairs, and those antennae are extremely sensitive. He is basically like a six-legged, weird-tailed centipede, gathering chemical information about his surroundings and slowly piecing together his world. And they're predators. They are hunters of the subterranean world. Really something that if you're a springtail or a small mite or something, this is a creature you would not want to come across in that subterranean matrix, because they have these little tiny jaws that are hidden inside a compartment in that head, and they'll come out like scissors and basically just slice up all the different soft-bodied invertebrates that live in the burrows these guys call home. 
See, they're very soft body. And like centipedes and stuff, they really have a hard time maintaining water balance when they're out exposed to open air. The heat dries them out really, really quick. So I do wanna keep this segment as short as I possibly can so that you can actually learn about this incredible creature, but so we don't actually harm him. Earlier, you might have remarked that, yeah, it looks like a weird little earwig, right? In fact, when they were first discovered, people thought they were like fossorial or cave-dwelling earwigs. But once we were learning more about their molecular biology, we realized not only are they not earwigs, they're not insects, but they look like earwigs due to their really bizarre tail there, where they get their name, the forceps tail. They have those little claws right on the back. They're called Circe. And now, I'd be thinking, if it's a predator, right, they probably use that to hunt. Well, I'm not entirely sure. See, you're, you're in these close quarters. How would you swing that around to grab a prey if you've detected it? It's thought they actually use that more for defense. It looks kind of like a beetle larva or something, but this is an adult forceps tail. It's about as big as they get, and they are really, really strange. And for me, the forceps tail is a very, very special creature because ever since I randomly found out what they were, I've wanted to see them in person. So this is like, this is a monumental find for me right now. I've been, I've been looking for these guys literally since I started this channel. Something you probably never heard of and probably one of the weirdest unusual arthropods that I guarantee may well be in your backyard right now. Absolutely wonderful little creature, something that I never thought I would see, but I did hope that maybe one day I'd come across. And here we are face to face with one of the most unusual little creatures I've ever seen. And when it comes to unusual creatures, the forceps tail is only scratching the surface. All around us, in our literal backyards, so many odd life forms make up the complex secret world that I'm working to uncover. And not every strange life form is necessarily an animal like this forceps tail either. Some of the oddest living things I've ever come across in my journeys are actually carnivorous plants. Plants that have adapted to turn the tables on the insects that usually eat them. If you want to discover the secret world of carnivorous plants, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.